Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss word problems from exercise 4.1. Pair of linear equations in two variables. Neha went to a sale to purchase some pants and skirts. When her friend asked her how many of each she had bought, she answered the number of skirts are two less than twice the number of pants so what she said number of skirts are two less than twice the number of pants so i am taking pants as some constant x number of skirts so skirts i am taking as one more constant y number of skirts are two less than twice the pants so number of skirts are two less than twice the number of pants twice is nothing but 2x number of skirts are two less than twice the number of pants next and number of skirts are four less than four times number of skirts are four less than four times the pants four times the pants so now by using the elimination method i will solve these two so total everything i am taking to the left side y plus 2x will become minus 2x minus 2 will become plus 2 is equals to 0 second equation y plus 4x will become minus 4x minus 4 will become plus 4 equals to 0 here plus y here plus y so i am doing subtraction plus y will become minus y minus 4x will become plus 4x plus 4 will become minus 4 plus y minus y will get cancelled minus 2x plus 4x plus 2x plus 2 minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0 take minus 2 to the right side it will become plus 2 so 2x is equal to plus 2 so x will be 1 x is nothing but pants so she bought one pants next now I will substitute this x value in any of the equations. The first equation we have is y equals to 2x minus 2. Now in the place of x, let us substitute 1. So y is equals to 2 into 1 minus 2. So y is equals to 2 ones are 2, 2 minus 2, 0. It means she bought 1 pants and 0 skirts. Okay, let's move to the next question. Ten students of tenth class took part in a quiz. If the number of girls are four more than the number of boys, then find how many girls and how many boys are there. So if the number of girls are four more than number of boys so i am taking number of boys as x and number of boys or girls are there so number of girls i am taking with some other constant y so now what he said clearly 10 students it means girls as well as boys are together 10 in number so number of boys plus number of girls is equals to 10 this is the first equation next if the number of girls are four more than number of boys so girls are four more than the boys girls y are four more plus four than the number of boys boys is x so y is equals to x plus four 
now this is first equation and this is second equation so the second equation i will change a little this x i will bring to the left side so y minus x is equals to 4 so now this i am writing as equation 3 now i will solve this first equation and third equation first equation we have x plus y is equals to 10 and second equation is y minus x y minus x i will write it as minus x plus y is equals to 4 one is plus x one is minus x so i am doing addition plus x minus x cancel plus y plus y 2y is equals to 14 so y value will be 7 y is nothing but girls so girls are 7 in number now this y value i will substitute in the equation 1 that is x plus y is equals to 10 so x plus y value 7 is equals to 10 so x is equals to 10 minus 7 3 x is nothing but boys so 3 boys participated and 7 girls participated in that quiz competition next question five pencils and seven pens together cost 50 rupees whereas seven pencils and five pens cost 46 rupees then find the cost of each pencil and each pen so i am taking cost of each pencil as x and cost of each pen as y so according to the first condition 5 pencils 5 into x and 7 pens 7 into y together plus that is equals to 50 rupees next second condition 7 pencils 7 x 5 pens 5 y together plus it costs 46 rupees now by using the elimination method or substitution method we need to solve both the equations anyway elimination will be easy so i am going with the elimination method only so first to make the coefficients equal this first equation i am multiplying by 7 and the second equation i am multiplying by 5 so what we will get 5x into 7 35x plus 7y into 7 49y is equals to 50 into 7 350 7x into 5 35x plus 5y into 5 25y is equals to 46 into 5 5 6 is 30 0 3 5 4 20 23 230 now here plus 35x here plus 35x so i will do subtraction of the equations so plus will become minus plus will become minus plus will become minus plus 35x minus 35x cancel plus 49 minus 25 24y which is equals to 350 minus 230 120 now we want y value so y is equals to 120 divided by 24 so y is equals to 5 y is nothing but cost of each pen so each pen cost 5 rupees now this y value i will substitute in any one of the equations that is 5x plus 7y is equals to 50 in the place of y i will substitute 5 5x plus 7 into 5 is equals to 50 5x plus 7 5 35 is equals to 50 this plus 35 I will take to the right side will become minus 35 so we will get 5x is equals to 50 minus 35 15 so x value is 3 x is nothing but cost of each pencil each pencil costs 3 rupees and each pen costs 5 rupees Okay, let's move to next question. Half the perimeter of a rectangular garden is 36 meters. If the length is 
फोर मीटर्स मोर दैन द विथ सो विथ आई एम टेकिंग एज सम कॉन्स्टेंट एक्स एंड देन लेंथ विल बी फोर मोर दैन द विथ फोर मोर दैन द विथ नेक्स्ट हाव द पेरीमीटर सो पेरीमीटर फॉर्मुला इज टू इन टू एल प्लस बी बट वॉट ही सेड हाफ ऑफ द पेरीमीटर हाफ इन टू टू इन टू एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स दिस टू टू विल गेट कैंसल सो वी रिमेन विद एल प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स L is nothing but we took as x plus four plus breadth is nothing but x which is equal to thirty six. X plus x two x plus four is equal to thirty six. I will take four to the right side. It will become minus so two x is equal to thirty six minus four thirty two. So then x is equal to sixteen. X is nothing but width. So that. Width is equals to x. X is nothing but sixteen sixteen meters. Then length is equals to x plus four. That is sixteen plus four twenty meters. This is one method. Next second method. If the length is four meters, then the width. So width I am taking as x and breadth I am taking as y. So, oh sorry, length. Length I am taking as y. Length is that is y is equals to four meters more plus four than the width. Width is x. So this is the first equation. Next, half the perimeter of a rectangle. Half the perimeter is nothing but two. Two will cancel, so L plus B. L plus B is equal to thirty six. L is nothing but Y plus B is nothing but X is equal to thirty six. This is the second equation. If you solve these two equations, you will get the X and Y values again by elimination method or else substitution method. This first method I did by using only single variable, but this one by using the two variables. Okay. Next question. You have an equation two x plus three y minus eight is equals to zero. Then what he asked in that question is create one more equation so that both the equations will be having intersecting lines. For this equation, we need to create one more equation so that both these equations will be having intersecting lines. So already we know very well the condition for intersecting lines. What is the condition for intersecting lines? A one by A two not equals to B one by B two. So. The given equation is two x plus three y minus eight is equals to zero. Here we need to worry only about a and b. It means x coefficient and y coefficient only, and those two should not be equal. So what I will do? This x coefficient two I will multiply with two. This y coefficient three I will multiply with some other number except two. So what we will get then? Two x into two, four x plus three y into three, nine y minus. We don't have any problem with the c, so write any value in the place of c. I am writing same as it is. So now these two equations will be having intersecting lines. Next, for the same question he asked. Parallel lines. That parallel lines. Then the 